I'm Davey. I'm Misty. DM Watts. Unscripted. Unedited. Unapologetic. Let's get it. What's going on, everybody? I'm Davey. I'm Misty. Welcome to another episode of DM Watts Podcast. Real quick, getting into it. Blue and yellow. We're going to start it off. Blue and yellow. yellow. You guys, Ukraine. Support for Ukraine. Help those people out over there. Uh, We're going to also tell you guys we have nft an nft going to be dropping really soon uh supporting ukraine it's called uh what are we going to call it uh, i haven't no I we haven't, haven't named okay it we haven't we haven't named haven't it yet named it, haven't mentioned it however it will be going towards unicef uh to, where unicef you guys know are helping out the children of ukraine so proceeds will be going uh, some of the proceeds will be going over to help those children of over in Ukraine, UNICEF. So you guys make sure you check it out. We'll have details coming up soon. Uh, DMWatchPodcast.com is where y'all can find us. Make sure you check us out on all the streaming services. We're in some crypto too. Yeah, we're in some crypto. So <laughs> it will go from there. Hey, check us out on all these streaming services. What, what is that? YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, okay, yeah, everyone. Uh, everyone. Yeah, we, everyone. We're really got, we've really gotten the hang of Twitter now. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're kind of in, in the Twitter now. We was, Davey participated in two Twitter spaces Yeah, I was in yesterday. a Twitter space. Now, I realize y'all be like, okay, you didn't actually, know about Twitter space? I, I did not. I ran out of the room on one of them. <laughs> he jaded me. Yeah, I did. I jaded her. I was like, hey, my wife shot me a look. That's why. And you I, know, just, she was like, I looked at him and I ran out of the room. just say that. She took out. She took I off. I was like, I am not Jada. <laughs> she took off. But yes, yeah, so we are starting to uh, figure out Twitter. Also, she just shot me a look again. I'm just okay, saying. Maybe I'm a little jaded. <laughs> maybe a little bit. I'm just saying. Maybe I have a migraine. Yeah, Who knows? yeah, yeah. But uh, also, our service dog says hello. Nisa and Scar says hello too. So one eyed Willie. One eyed Willie. Right now, poor guy. He's got some stuff poor going on Scar. with his eye. He's got the cone of shame on oh, right now. Oh, poor Scar. Yeah, he's just like, uh, somebody save me. But it happens. So tell you what, uh, we have fires happening in Kansas uh right now because it's so dry out here right now. Our weather is like yeah, it's hey, bad. we're gonna catch a few things on fire. So without further ado, it's let's really go on getting on into the it's really windy. We're so gonna get, get into this uh fishbowl topic. We just want everybody to know about that. Fire's over here. All right, let's see what we get. Um, <laughs> it's a long one. It is a long one. So the title. Out of paper. Yeah, I guess we did. It was a long one. The title of today's. <laughs> exactly. The title of today's fishbowl topic is stupid shit we did when we were young. So that's why we're laughing. And, so, and it's also the reason why we're, we're having this reaction yeah. is because a few hours ago, we were literally in a conversation yeah. about, you know. Yeah, things we did when we were young, some of our stupid, young ones and stuff like young. that. So I can, I, I, we could all go on with this topic for oh, days. God. We could all go on this topic 20, for 20, we had to do this in 20 minutes. Yeah, we, yeah, 20 minutes. So, 20 minutes. Okay, so some of the dumb shit I did. <laughs> When I was young, a lot of mine revolved around school, though. A lot of my stuff, really? yeah, a lot of the dumb shit I did revolved around school. So, you know, I was a <laughs> a real bad liar when I was younger. I was really, really bad at, at lying. I used to do it a lot when I was younger because I, in my head as a child, I had it a master to where I'm like, okay, there are eight hours in the school day. That means I can straight his ass whooping for eight hours. I'm not finna be in trouble for eight hours at least wow and i'm like if i get every curricular act extracurricular activity let me help the teachers clean the room whole nine then everything will be a-okay you're out there cleaning a race yeah it's, it's like i'm helping out with everything like you gotta go home no 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 <laughs> no no mom said no no, no every, everything's Hi. fine but mom was always with the homework my mom was always with the homework i used to get and i was in so much trouble for not doing my homework uh my parents yeah, they came up with a system where they, I had a piece of paper and every one of my teachers used to have to sign saying no homework. They used to have to sign this paper and I used to bring it home and say, yeah, I have no homework. So me being me, I did what every kid would do. Oh, God. <laughs> you forged your teacher's signature. I'm gonna, of course, is what you do. Of course you did. <laughs> but my handwriting is very distinctive. <laughs> it is. It's very yeah, distinctive. Very distinctive. Uh, very distinctive chicken scratch. So... Uh, yeah, when I can remember coming home and my mom and them looking and was like, you sure your teacher signed this? Of course, yeah. <laughs> now me, was, I was smart with it, but I was stupid with it. You can't sign in every, t- in every teacher's signature the same way. They, they, <laughs> you, can't, 
You can't sign every teacher's signatures. We almost have another your, Kool-Aid. Yeah, yeah, we almost had, yeah, yeah. You sign every teacher's signature with your handwriting. And I mean, it, it wasn't the same initials, but it's your handwriting. It's like, this L looks like this L. This, this K looks like this K. Yeah, so you sure? You you want to tell me again? You sure you're too? Yeah. Because in my head, they can't call the teacher right now. I can still watch TV today. So <laughs> I, can wow. still, I can still get to watch TV today. They're not going to be able to call the teacher till tomorrow. So In Living Color is going to be on, and I get to watch it tonight. Oh, real right. <laughs> if it revolved around In Living yeah, Color. I was like, I ain't telling I the truth. Was, I ain't, was, you ain't no. taking away my weekend and Ooh. Sunday night in Living Color. No, no, I ain't, no, it's good. I want to have that weekend. So at least I got that weekend, and which, of course, was short that, that every time you got in trouble. <laughs> what about you, baby? Oh, uh, you know, I grew up in the Bay. So <laughs> every day was stupid shit that Misty did day. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah. Um, so the one for some reason that's sticking out in my head, I mean, other than the general don't be where you shouldn't mm-hmm. be, uh, wrong time, wrong place kind mm-hmm. of thing. But one that keeps sticking out is we were all hanging out. It was like, uh, you know, midnight mm-hmm. at a park. Yeah. And we had been under the, there was a bridge, train tracks, you had to climb over the fence. So we were under the bridge and drinking, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. And uh, then you had to hop the fence because, of course, the gate was locked. You know, the fence was locked yeah. in the park. Um, so me and my friend were swinging on the swings. Uh, and, you know, Thomas was there. Hello, Thomas. Hello. <laughs> hey, Thomas. How hey, you doing? Thomas. How uh, you doing? That goes, Thomas. And um, I'm sure Kenny was around there somewhere. Hello, Kenny. <laughs> uh, and we were all there. And it started to like rain and it wasn't, you know, it was just a gentle rain and mm-hmm. we were sw- swinging and laughing and just being teenagers, yeah. really not doing anything wrong. Okay. Maybe drinking and you okay. know, trespassing, but still we weren't doing anything wrong. Um, and security guard, mm-hmm. and he was an old guy, Yeah, but dude could move. He was, <laughs> he was quick. Those he old ones, running, they, they fool you every time. Towards though. us mm-hmm. and everybody took off scales the fence i'm like i got this i go to scale the fence Mm -hmm. and um so it was you know the 90s and ripped jeans was still a thing (laughs) and as as i scaled it i scaled it but my jeans did not yes (laughs) and i was Uh, hanging yeah (laughs) by my butt yeah that's I probably would stop and laugh for a while. And our friend, yeah, our Did they friend help Sean you and, yeah, Sean and yeah. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Thomas had to go through his, God damn it, Misty, why you gotta wear jeans? <laughs> yeah. have holes in them. And they like ripped me off oh, of it. Oh my goodness. And yeah, the guy almost had me. <laughs> but I realized that was just yeah. stupid shit. Yeah, uh, okay. I got another one because we, we could go for days with this. So I could tell you, I, I wouldn't say stupid shit I did. I would say stupid shit I did not do. Let me elaborate. So, we know, uh, yeah. So, my sister, you know, we all had chores. Yes, sister, this is your story. <laughs> so, so we, all had story. To, we, we all had chores. And my mom, my sister's chore was she had to vacuum the living room. Her chore was vacuum the living room. Now, I'm in my room. I ain't heard the vacuum the whole time. I'm like, hey, whatever. That's, that's on you. That's not on me. So, my mom comes home. I can hear my sister and my mom in there arguing, or my mom is yelling at my sister. Didn't I tell you to clean his living room? I did vacuum the living room. No, no, you didn't. So what do you think they do? Scooter. That's my nickname, Scooter. So Scooter, get in here. Scooter. Get in here. I said, oh, well, shit. So I come in at yes. She's like, because, you know, Southern folks, like, there is no yeah, what, nothing like that. Yes, ma'am. Is it yes, ma'am, or yes? That's it. It's all you have, like, yes. She said, uh, did, did, you hear, did you see your sister? Did your sister vacuum the floor? Now, see, there's a time in a young man's life what we call death defying decisions. You know what I'm saying? Where you are little, your mom is asking you something and your sibling is next to you. Oh, that's And it's time. like, you got two choices. Do uh, you snitch or you both getting, getting your ass whooped anyway? You snitch on a sibling. Yeah, you snitch on a sibling. Especially a sister. Uh, yeah. You're they, gonna get the shit they, they, demi- you they will literally me. sit there they don't and forget. Yeah, they don't forget. She's still after him. For she this. still tells this story and is upset with me about this story. I looked at her. At least once a month. Yeah, at least once a month this story gets told. I looked at her, looked at my mom. This is my sister's face. You know, it looked like, hey, you know, just just tell her what happened. And then I look at my mom like, mm-hmm. 
go ahead and lie. I dare you. Then I look at the floor. There's not a track mark. And I had a Kirby. We had a Kirby at the house. Y'all don't oh. know. Kirby's the truth. You're going to leave some vacuum yeah, tracks Kirby's in really a Kirby. Yeah. You're going to leave, you're going to leave some vacuum tracks with a you're Kirby. Talk about a good vacuum. Yeah. You get you a Kirby. We had a Kirby. And I'm going to tell you. You're pulling up dirt. From yeah. The I'm telling you, like, like you are cleaning Satan's living room with a Kirby. You understand? It's sucking that, that taking there's all that noise. up. I'm telling you. So there's no track marks in the living room. I look at my sister. I'm, I'm not lying for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting the ass with for you. <laughs> Are you see, no, so I was like, so I kind of was like, so I didn't say, yeah, no, this is what I said. I said, well, I didn't hear the vacuum, so I don't know. I was listening to the radio. To the radio. <laughs> I, I didn't hear it. And you immediately know you fucked up because your sibling will give you that. I can't believe you did that look like. The side eye. The, yeah. The, the, the man, you, you, for, the, you for real, you just said that shit. And I was like, I didn't hear it. She looked at She, My mom looked at her. You finna get you. She was like, Mom, I did. I went in the room. I was like, oh, shit. You know, I, I went in the room. Not on me. Nuh-uh. I mean, that night after that ass with my sister, nothing. my sister was watching that. She walked into the... <laughs> my sister, why, why you lie on me? No, you mean why I ain't lie for you? There ain't no lying on you. <laughs> there ain't no lying. I didn't lie. At I'm not trying to us both to get our ass. Well, why? It is like mom is literally only after you. You didn't do what you did. So why would I do that? Why would I lie for you? So I mean, uh, it's like a stupid shit I did not do. You yeah, got that story, baby? I'm just saying. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, hey, what can I say? That that really legit happened. That's funny. And we hear about it every every, every month. Every month my sister bring that story up. So right. what do you got? What do you got, baby? Uh I, I'm sitting there, um, well, I don't know. I, well, I guess, yeah, stupid shit I did as a kid. Believe my siblings. Um, <laughs> hey, Misty, get in this suitcase. Okay. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about how long I was in that suitcase. Yes. And it was a hard case yeah. with locks. But I was a very skinny <laughs> kid. And I was apparently limber. Yeah. So you um, actually got in the suitcase. Yeah. Mm. How would that work out? Well, I, it, it still worked out fine because I was in gymnastics and stuff. So I was okay. No, no, no. I mean, how did it work out? Like the end result, like what happened? Oh, everybody laughed because I finally started screaming when I <laughs> found out they were carrying me to the car. <laughs> so we were all going on a trip. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> you mm-hmm. know, I'm sure it didn't turn out very well for my brother, but it, it was fine for me. Everybody just mm. laughed. But I was thinking about, uh, you were saying about forging signatures. Uh-huh. I used to do that too. Really? Yeah. Uh, but I had mastered it, but <laughs> that's the artist in me. <laughs> <laughs> I can copy things mm-hmm. and freehand it. And I had mastered my mother's signature so well. <laughs> yeah. She couldn't even tell what was hers and what wasn't. Mm-hmm. And when she realized what I had been doing. <laughs> First of all, how did you get caught? Like, why did she realize it? Like, it was just like, wait a minute. These, these aren't my uh... did i get caught i don't even remember <laughs> i just remember her looking and saying i didn't i didn't sign this you didn't even tell me about it <laughs> that's how it like, works yeah i did oh i think i was changing classes yeah. that's when i had a mishap in band and i yeah and so i was like well she don't need to know about this she got enough to worry about mm-hmm. single mom she good yeah. I'll take care of for. <laughs> and she was like, what is this? That's my signature. What, what is this? And I was like, I signed it. No, that's my signature. I know. No, you did not sign that. <laughs> yes, I did prove it. And I did. And she goes up. Uh, how did you do that? And then she started laughing. She's like, well, now you can sign my checks. Yeah. Okay. okay I sure will. I had no yeah, problem. You yeah. Got it. Yeah. So, I mean, but that's, that's, I mean, I, I got another one real quick. So you, <laughs> you always remember things. Hey, I'm, I'm like a deer in a headlight. Hey, man, like, hey, ass whooping somehow just they have a <laughs> lasting effect on you. <laughs> you remember all your ass whoopings. So I can remember that <clears throat> I used to dread parent teacher conferences, right? So I devised a plan to have my mom miss parent teacher conferences, right? Had, yeah, whole plan everything so I heard this one. yeah because they used to mail parent this yeah. is way before email right right so they used to mail the notification of parent teacher conferences yeah. to the to house so i would intercept the mail i would intercept the mail because i was always there before you know my mom got off work 
So I would go in the mailbox, take her like, there it is. You know, get it. Like, I just got to check. We got it. Not anymore. Like, slick. nope. Yep. Took all that. I have no idea to this day. She still won't tell me. Has she always freaking knew about the parent teacher conferences? Literally, I'd be like, I'd be like, sweet. Because at my school, we, you didn't get out of school for parent teacher conferences. They would just have them that night, later sure. in the evening. So you would still have to go to school. So, so my mom was like, uh, so I want you to know I made an appointment for a parent teacher conference. Really? Yeah. Uh, they said they mailed it for real. That's crazy. This, you know, stuff don't come in our mail like that. You know what I mean? So here's the thing. The ass whooping was not for the mail. She never found out about that. Oh. The ass whooping was for the conference. When oh. we went to the parent teacher conference, uh, every one of my teachers was like, you know, well, Davey's very talkative. <laughs> no. he's very uh talkative and uh you were in school uh, yeah 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 oh. so, like i know that's that's weird to think that i was talkative in school well no it's usually opposite mm. people that you know do mm -hmm. this podcasting or get up in front yeah. of people usually were sometimes the quiet ones in school now i was never quiet like i said remember i did uh radio tv i was the quiet one yeah i did radio tv in my school yeah and we ran a I show so i had to go around doing a news uh stuff for the school and yeah. stuff like that but i was quiet in class because really? i was the nerd i oh. was like i was absorbing everything so i yeah. hated people that talked oh really yeah. i didn't mind passing so notes, we, we but... clearly would not have dated in high school i got you <laughs> <laughs> yeah because i would have been over there going just like i did when we dated <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah i was like well yeah so that's how that went uh after i get and i remember my band teacher mr eans that was my band instructor now here's the thing here's the, the thing when it came to band I was good at, play I played four instruments. You know, I played four instruments, but I literally, that shit on drumline with Nick Cannon, where he couldn't read the music, but he can remember it. Yeah. That was me. I could not read the music to save my damn That's life. So cool. I failed you every- by ear. Yep, I failed every written musical test there was. I failed every one. And they were like, how the hell are you failing this? You're in band. You play an instrument. <laughs> so I, you know, not wanting to admit that I couldn't read the music. I was like, I don't know. I'm just not trying. I don't care. That's so why I blamed it on that. I didn't oh. reality. Yeah. In reality, I couldn't read the music and I didn't want anybody to know that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want nobody to know. Oh, so wow. I stuck to it. Yeah. So I, but I ended up playing all four instruments by ear <laughs> in the hand movement. I used That's to so watch cool. everybody play it. But when we would get a new song, I would watch my bandmates play it in the section I was in. I would watch where they put in their, uh, the instrument at. And I'm like, okay, cool. I can do that. He's gay. And then I would do, I would mimic that. Oh, so, wow. yeah. So, but you know, I, I think it's, we, we, we all have had those things in school where there's dumb yeah. shit, not even just school, but period in our young, young times where we just definitely screwed up. So here's something I did mm. as a teenager. Um, I was like 15, 16. And of course at 15 and 16, we always have that great body. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've always been chesty. Yeah, yeah I, and for some that, reason, yeah. even mm -hmm. though, <laughs> even though uh, I was very thin, mm -hmm. um, that never went away. And for some whatever reason, that summer I decided, yeah, th this is the year I'm doing a bikini. Mm -hmm. So I did. Okay, I had the cutest gray bikini with polka dots. Okay, loved it. Pink polka dots, blue polka dots. They were great. Uh, go to the water park, Manteca. Antica water slides mm -hmm. and I'm in my bikini and I went on one of those uh like a fast river winder thing yeah. uh -huh. and then you come shooting out of it and you're in a pool to where oh, I know what you're talking about yeah river yeah yeah thing. yeah like with the slides right, and so, right, yeah, yeah. right um so somewhere in the slide in the dupe uh my string got caught <laughs> oh boy to my top uh oh and went whooshing away oh my goodness and i had the boogie board like matt thing and i'm like what <laughs> <laughs> and i'm screaming and i'm holding on to it so i've got like all yeah because you can't the lift you can't let go of like, the board because yeah. now you're just gonna be and now the w force of the water and me holding the mat to my <laughs> boobs because the place is packed because again it's the bay yeah um and I come shooting out, but my bottoms had now fallen <laughs> to my knees because the force of the water was shitting under me and me holding the mat. Oh, the water was catching oh, my, my goodness. bottoms. 
the- so <laughs> comes shooting out of a tube at uh, Antique Water Slides. Oh goodness! Circa 1991. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we'll just say you might have been the center of attention. And it spun me around for some reason. I it didn't kick me into. This is the first part. It didn't kick me into the Lacey River part of it. Oh. <laughs> you can- <laughs> I got caught. Like, help me, help me. The, the lifeguards were like you're fine just stand up and i'm like i'm naked that- and my friends that were with me yeah. were rolling and dying because they could clearly see my bikini yeah oh my god because it now came out of the tube that's bad and I, that is really and really bad me lucy for like the rest oh of the summer goodness. they were like that was an episode of i love lucy because that- i was just like <laughs> that's terrible that's, that bed. is terrible <laughs> that is terrible but funny at the same time because i visualize it so, right now wow that's that is bad never did water parks again yeah. <laughs> okay now i Nor get wear it. a bikini yeah, again. No, i that... sure didn't i went to a one piece the rest of my life oh my baby oh that's my one <laughs> <laughs> that's... <laughs> uh, uh, i will say that it's too bad that our brother isn't on here when we talk about stupid shit we did when we was young. Oh, T Hobbs at the crypto shop. Y'all make sure y'all check him out. Find him, uh, at, the te- shop. Find him at the crypto shop. Make sure you tip the barber. Find him on YouTube. Yep. So make sure you tell him about this story. I think he knows the story I'm about to tell. We talk about stupid shit that we did when we was young. This is a once a week story. Yeah, yeah. It's also a once a week story. So I get back from basic training. And while you're in basic training, you don't have no access as an Air Force. You have no access to nothing. What the outside world. So when I'm in it, I was a huge into like No Limit. I was a No Limit fan, period. <laughs> yeah, Master P, and I had the chain and everything. Yeah, I was not realize now I look like a, a dumbass. But look, so Stupid I got out shit of we do as kids. As kids. I got out of basic training, bought every damn No Limit song CD that came out while I was in basic training. I had a big the Outcast that just came out with a Clemini. I was like, oh snap! I've grabbed everything. Snap! Rosa Parks was just out. Oh that song, Rosa Parks. I get there and I got you know the big old black binder of CDs. I had like the one hundred yeah. uh, CDs. Right. I got the CDs. Next thing I know, I just I come home. I can't find my CDs. I'm getting ready to leave. Is what it was. Can't find my CDs nowhere. Nowhere. I'm mad. I'm like, I know my little brother has my CDs. I know he has them. So I leave. Come back when he's back home from school. Where are my CDs? I am, I, am, I am literally yelling. We're ready to fight. And my mom came in and broke it up. Was like, look, he said he ain't got your CDs. He's sitting there looking at me with that. I am guilty, but I'm not admitting it. Like, uh-uh, I don't, I don't have yours. I'm like, you little lying. So, so uh, a couple of years ago, as we are older, because that's stupid shit we did when we were younger, right? So let's talk about stupid shit we did as we were older. Like, admit to your brother that you actually stole his damn CDs. Uh, oh, anyway. Yes. <laughs> so... It's the worst thing he could have done. <laughs> Stole my damn CDs. And I'm going to tag you in this. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Dude, you should have, like, you, you should have put it on one of your other siblings. And it you says, been like, no, that was Creature. That was yeah, nah, nah, nah. the vacuum. Yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> he was the only one that lived there. It was only us two. We couldn't blame it on anybody else. It was well, him. He could have thought of something. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, that stupid shit that we did when we was younger. Yeah. I mean, that's I could go over days, but, oh hey, we don't God. have that much time. I could go on yeah. and on and Exactly. On. So, we don't have that much time, so we're going to go ahead and call it there. Hey, thank you guys for listening. Don't wear a bikini top to a water slide if you're chesty. And do not forward your teacher signatures. Oh, yeah, don't do that either. And don't steal your brother's CDs. And don't try to scale a fence if you're wearing holy yeah, jeans. Yeah, yeah, true See, that. you're learning. Yeah, we're there teaching. it is. what we talk about. Teachable. That's what happens. So, look, <laughs> so uh, blue, and, blue and yellow, you guys, make sure you support uh, Ukraine over there. So, uh, prayers for Ukraine, those people Absolutely. over there. Absolutely. It's horrible yep. what's happening. Horrible. DMWatchPodcast.com is where y'all can find us. Make sure you guys also go to openc.io slash dmwatts where you guys can find our nfts at yeah. make sure you go and check those out you can catch us on all the streaming services we follow some crypto you guys should too not financial advice you yeah. i did that put all yeah. that in there yeah. yeah so our service dogs say hello and goodbye so signing off for dmwatts podcast i am davy i'm misty and we are dmwatts we'll catch you guys on monday oh, yeah. yeah that's right this is I'm our last weekend. one of the week you guys have a good weekend we'll catch you guys then take it easy yep Monday through Thursday. Oh. <laughs> it's Thursday already. Yeah, the way it flew by, didn't it?
Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Where did the weed go? <laughs>